G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews and on the bench today, what's going on here? This is a mini quad. No, I'm not reviewing a mini quad. Done enough mini quad reviews for a little while. Um, this is my old MXP200. It's, it's an X-Hover frame. I think it's even got it written down there in the bells of it somewhere. X-Hover. I've had this for years, absolute years. It is my go-to quad. It just, I just love it. It just flies really, really well. And it's quite small. It's, you know, a 200 mil. So it isn't big, it, it means I can get it in my backpack and it means it's, it's not a, as much of a danger to, to people and little children and animals when I lose control. But the, the, the main thing is that it's just so predictable and I've got the run cam split so I don't need to have an external HD recording camera. I've got the bugs in the split sorted out, it doesn't fail anymore like it did a little while ago. Um, it's got a Naze 5 flight controller, seriously, honestly, who uses a Naze 5 these days? puts hand up. Um, yeah, and, and it's got an old, old Multistar 1.4 battery, but I get seven or eight minutes just sort of cruising with this thing. Um, it's not my flippity flippity quad, it's my cruisy quad. So yeah, what's going on here? Well, um, I'm going to do a video today because I want to talk about flight controllers. And as I say, Naze 5 in there, it's an old F1 processor. It's really, really, it's you know, one of, well, it was the first Naze flight controller. I think I don't think they did them before the Naze 5. So yeah, it is the bottom of the bucket in terms of flight controller performance. Um, yet it works perfectly adequately for me because my skills are bottom of the bucket as well. I really honestly don't notice the difference between the Naze 5 and the latest F4 all bells and whistles flight controllers. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to just look at how flight controllers work because it's an essential, an increasingly essential part of the knowledge base of every model flyer these days, whether you fly quads or not. What I'm going to do is take this perfectly balanced quad, it's got four props, the motors are all the same and I've upgraded them since I originally, these are now DYS motors, the original X hover ones, they, I wore them out, flew it till I wore them out. It's got some Dell ESC, so it's, it's, it's better than it was when, it, when I first got it because I've upgraded bits, except the flight controller hasn't been upgraded. So what I'm going to do now is, look, you can see this is a perfectly balanced quad, it all looks perfectly fine. I'm going to show you, I'm going to take off to a little hover, you'll see that, yeah, despite a little bit of wind today, it flies just fine. That seems pretty stable to me. Now from my shaky thumbs, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, what we've done here is we've replaced one of the props with a two-bladed prop. Still five inch, but only two blades. Let's see how this works. Um, whether the flight controller can Make this hover. It sounds different, but it's still quite stable. And it's still hovering. So the flight controller doesn't really care. Let's take it a step further. Now things are going to get very exciting because if you look at this, I've got a four inch propeller, two bladed four inch propeller on that arm. Can the flight controller hold it? Well, let's find out. Obviously it can! Well... Oh. Instead of just hovering, maybe it's see if it'll fly. Right now this is just plain wrong, absolutely wrong. We've got two three-bladed props. We've got a four-inch two-bladed prop and a five-inch two-bladed prop. This is so unbalanced now. Remember, this is the old Naze fly control. It's not fancy modern state-of-the-art stuff. Let's uh, take it out and see what happens. We've hovered it, it hovers fine, but let's give it a bit of a punch. Let's see what happens if we try and do some errors. Will it just fall from the sky and break? Don't know. Put your bets now in the comment section and uh, see if you're right.
Well, that was kind of interesting, wasn't it? I actually thought that when I punched this full throttle, it would do a flip. I really do. I know that the way flight controllers are designed, they, they should limit the power of the other motors to no more than the power of the weakest motor or weakest prop setup. So it shouldn't flip, but I thought it probably would because this is a really old flight controller running a very old version of clean flight, not really state of the art, but it didn't. When I punched it, there was a little bit of a, of, of a roll towards the weak motor, but it stabilized and up it went. It was pretty gutless because this prop isn't producing much thrust and these others will only match it if you want to stay level. They won't exceed it, otherwise it would roll. So yeah, it was like flying with a half flat battery, but I, I did a, a roll no problems. Uh, the your authority was really strong. I, I can't believe it because I figured that with this tiny prop I wouldn't be able to get very much yaw in, in, in the direction where this motor has to create more torque. So yeah, I, I am kind of impressed with the, the, the old Nays 5 running the old clean flight. And uh, so I've learned something today. Have you learned something? I hope you've learned something. Joshua Bardwell might have learned something if he watches my videos. Everyone learns something, it's great. Yeah, I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time. And today, beautiful day, it's lovely, it's, it's like summer actually. The only reason I've got this thick shirt on is because I wanted to have somewhere to put my microphone. Um, otherwise I'd be in my t-shirt. It's just brilliant, there's not a breath of wind. Woo, it is great. This winter has been so good. Um, so yeah, there you go. Now if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down, tell me why. And it's not a review of course, but it is something hopefully you found interesting. And now I'll get back and start reviewing some stuff because I've got a little bit of stuff to review. Thanks for watching guys. Comments to the usual place. Bye for now.